Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Yeah, I'm doing another uh, back issue bonanza. Uh, uh, one snuck up on me. Uh, I, today is Sunday, and I did my Sunday comics, and then I went to my uh, a, a new diner that with my friend Jimmy, and then afterwards I went to Retro Collectibles. It's a place near me, and I spent way too much money on comic books. It was all a surprise. I didn't plan on it, and I was looking through. Last time I was there, they didn't have anything that interested me, but... Uh, uh, I, I take it back. It was Time Warp. Time Warp next door. There's retro collectibles, and right next door is Time Warp collectibles. And I think they're owned by the same person. But uh, they had a couple of boxes of really nice uh, Bronze Age stuff, which is kind of what I'm looking for. So without further ado, let's check this out. So I just bought, this was one to nine in one set. I I don't have any of these. I, I famously talked to uh, at Nauseam that I never really got into war comics and 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 uh and western comics so i'll make it up for it so this is combat kelly and the deadly dozen number one they came in in a set i took them out of the bag because i wanted to see if the if the comics were in good condition because I, I didn't even look at them. they were all sealed in it this is number two i have to hold with the, the other hand because i'm okay the origin of combat kelly and the deadly dozen Mutiny. All right. This uh, escape or die. So I guess he's in a prisoner camp. Well, these are in pretty good shape. I comics don't have to be in near mint condition for me. You know, as long as it's not like visible tears and you know, like th th these are really good as far as I'm concerned. They're not near mint. Number seven. Okay, I don't know. Oh. Combat Kelly and the Deadly Dozen. That's number eight. I've heard of this run. I don't know if I have a four. I don't know if 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 it went any further. But uh, if that you know that's what I got. One to nine in one set. So here I got the fourth world. Jimmy also Jimmy uh Kirby's fourth world of Superman's pal. So the fourth world is in this. And are you ready for two Rickles? I, I, you know, three bucks. It wasn't until I got till just now that I saw that it's kind of, kind of beat up. You know, there's a tear right here that doesn't please me. But whatever, three bucks. I can't complain. This I just got. This guy charged me two bucks, and this is in really good shape, or at least it looks it does in the bag. And these old, old Batman, Super World Finest, Superman. You know, these are big holes in my collection. I don't really have too much uh, of this. Uh, Silver Age DC stuff. Now this I bought because it was a comical comic. Number one, Blood Scent, the modern tale of terror. And it's Gene Colan. And I never heard of this comic. And I said many times that I was a comical fanboy and I bought everything. So it, this was $4. I have no idea if it's any good or not. But uh, a number one from Comical that I don't have. And here is... Giant Adventure Comics presents the Legion of Superheroes. This is four or three. I don't know why I bought this. I, I think this is a reprint of the of the story where Lightning Lad dies. I don't know. I don't know. I'll find out. World's Finest Superman and the Teen Titans. This is the later Teen Titans because you can tell because there's Mal and Lilith. But I, I love this cover. I don't know if this is reprints. I don't know what it is. This I got, I don't know why. I just really like this cover. Plus, I, I, I kind of like the, I like, like, elemental villains. So, this is Superman fighting the elements. How bad could it be? And uh, I, like I said, oh, there's a glare on it. Like I said, I, I'm missing a lot of this. I, I don't have practically any, oh, I practically don't have any Superman comic books before John Byrne took over. So, now we got Superman's pal, 92. The team from Scar. Should we also voyage to the unknown? Can you guess where he lands? No clue. I have no clue where he lands. This, I don't know why I picked it up. The Ringo Kid. The Ringo Kid. 25 cents. A badge to die for. I don't know. This I just picked up because 
Supergirl, and I don't really have any of these old Silver Age Supergirls. Look, look at look at how happened in uh, Lois Lane is in in those Ginchy Ginchy uh, pants. This I bought because I know next to nothing about uh, pre George Perez Wonder Woman. So I, I was like, okay, it's a cheetah. And I like this version of the cheetah. I like that costume. So I got this. And then I saw this when I got home. I was a little annoyed. I don't know why I got this. Just because it was in really good condition. And it was like, what, three bucks or something like that? Look at that. This is in really good condition. This I got because I'd never heard of it. And it was a number one. And it feels water damaged. But arg, it's gonna be a terrible Marvel, uh, Marvel uh, uh, humor comic. The Marvel humor comics are terrible. This is the last one. King size special Iron Man number two, and it seems like it's in pretty good, pretty good condition. A little bit of writing over there, but it's in pretty good condition. The Crusher. Look at that. What's that say right there? Sal Buscema. Buscema. Am I saying it right? I, I always say Buscema in my mind. There you go. And that's everything that I got. Or is it? Yes, that's everything that I got today. So there you go. Surprise back issue Bonanza. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.